Pisces, hi. So this is going to be a reading for August 29th through September 4th. And I'll take a look at your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out all the info about that in the description box below if you want. My back hurts. <laughs> My bag just started hurting, like, out of nowhere. It doesn't hurt. Um, I was a little bit of a drama queen back there. It, I felt like a... Uh, kind of went away, but... Like, really? And I also slammed the hammer in my leg today by mistake. Maybe that's why? Yeah. Anyways. Let's see. Pisces. All right, the overall energy for the reading, the full, cool energy. Really a, a fresh kind of an energy. Because mm. I feel like maybe you're leaving something behind, but you're coming in with a fresh vibe. Like, I, I just want to move on. I just want to, you know, embrace life and just be open, which is really cool. Usually when people leave something behind, they have the tendency to shut down for a little bit uh you're quite the opposite here in the way you show up in the recent past the page of swords the six of swords the page of cups okay there was something going on there but not much it's like the effort that's being put in is not a lot i don't know what this is um i do kind of get a sense that it's not something you're thinking about it could be something minuscule like I don't know, maybe a collaboration with someone or a, an attempt even there's this hmm let's do this but not really nah forget about it kind of a thing so I, I, we'll have to clarify and see why that's here um in the current situation the two of wands the death card the king of wands yeah that's that's the whole i'm kind of waiting for things to just fall off and just kind of go away from my life kind of a thing it could be tied up to the situation from the past. It could have been the case that maybe you didn't want to really cut it, you know, like go away now. I don't need you. I don't want you to go away. Uh, kind of waiting for it to fall off, basically. And then I see you in this King of Wands, very confident, very yay, let's, let's do this, you know, kind of a thing. Anyways, um... In the immediate future, the Magician, the Ten of Cups, the Three of Cups. Wait. So you want happiness, possibly love here, tied up to this happiness. You're manifesting this. It could be a correlation to the past here, but not necessarily. There's definitely manifesting love, as it should be. Maybe this was supposed to be, but not really. Uh could have been that love was here but it wasn't experienced for what it was you know uh, let's see let's let's clarify <clears throat> let me do the full <clears throat> the two of wands the emperor the king of pentacles yeah Waiting for the right time, waiting for the right time, and you'll know when that is, and you'll go for it. It could be tied up to your stability. Again, it doesn't have to be love, whatever it is you're dealing with here. It almost feels like you're trying stuff out, and then kind of when I'll see it, I'll know it, kind of a thing of an energy is showing up. And again, more tied up to a sense of stability for you than... Um, love it could be that but i don't necessarily get it as that so i don't know uh but this energy of let's go you know i'm embracing life i'm embracing everything um you have that but you keep it um kind of for when the time is right kind of a thing which i feel like you'll know it's not here yet okay let's um uh, let's see let me see the Page of Swords in the recent past. 
The chariot, the page of cups, the ten of cups. That's what it is. It is love, but it wasn't love. It is love, but it wasn't love. I, I, I can't quite... I mean, I know what it is. It's hard for me to explain it. And the... Um, the, the it definitely carries the energy of love and i feel like it wasn't experienced as as such almost like this whole experience kind of went by without popping up you know in its true form uh on neither side okay now i kind of get the uh immediate future situation let's do the six of swords Four of Wands, Six of Wands, Ten of Swords. It's like mixed feelings here. It's like bittersweet kind of a situation because it, it does hold a commitment there too, which felt good, but then it comes to an end. There's there's this sense of, ooh, I want to say missed opportunity here, but it's not even that. You're calling for it back here. Uh, let's do the Page of Cups. What the hell happened here? For the Page of Cups, you get the Ace of Swords, the Justice card, the Eight of Wands. Not for the lack of trying. There's definitely trying in there. There's definitely, let's do this, let's try, let's. Ugh. Why isn't it coming out? Why isn't it coming through? Why isn't it experienced as it's shown up? I see, again, I see attempts being made there. Like, let, let's do this. Let's, let's do the two of wands. In the current situation, three of pentacles, seven of cups, ace of wands. You want to move on. You're definitely kind of tired of this you're definitely kind of you know what it's not worth it kind of a thing um <sighs> you have the energy to move on i don't know if you will you're still kind of waiting here by the looks of it let's do the death card the world card the five of swords the knight of pentacles you're distracting yourself. That's why these kings and knights of pentacles are showing up. You could be distracting yourself with something else tied up to your stability. It could be your job. Um, you could be finding something to keep you busy all the time, you know, because I see a sense of let me hang on to this so that I don't have to. Not even so that I don't have to. Let me hang on to this so that I end this. This is how I end this by distracting myself here. Just coming in as deceptive, because no, no, doesn't really seem to be working out that way here. Uh, let's do the King of Wands. Wheel of Fortune, Seven of Wands, Six of Swords. The energies are coming back. I knew this wasn't done. The energies are coming back. As we speak, something's happening, something's shifting where you're being pulled back to whatever this was and still kind of is because energetically it's still here. Physically, it may have ended, it may have gone away. You could be looking at it as a missed opportunity, but the energies are definitely coming back, taking you back here. And that's why you're manifesting this back. Let's do the magician. You don't want that. I see the resistance there. I see, oh shit, here we go again. You know, kind of a thing. Uh, you thought you could get away with keeping yourself busy. You won't. Um, the magician in the immediate future. The Six of Cups, the Tower, the Knight of Swords. Um, okay, see, so you're, you're definitely manifesting a soul connection here. Um, I like how you're coming at it. It's like... Whatever happens, I'm gonna follow through this time. You know, I'm gonna step it up. I'm, I'm gonna bring this energy out. 
Maybe I didn't in the past, who knows, whatever, blah, blah. I don't give a, what happens. I'm just going to put it up and that's that. I like the attitude and it, it, it kind of goes with this manifestation, you know, because even if there's fear there, you're kind of overcoming that through your manifestation, which is quite nice. A lot of people are taken back by their own fear and their manifestations. You're like, fuck this shit. I'm going for it. Um, <clears throat> energetically, at least. I don't know if you're going for it physically or not. Eh. Eh. Let's do the Ten of Cups in the... Um, yeah, you're pushing through fear. I love this. Uh, in the immediate future, for the Ten of Cups, you get the Ten of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords. Yeah, you're not letting fear take you down. Mm -mm. You're pushing through it. Because you're manifesting happiness, stability, all that this had, but it wasn't experienced. And I don't know why. I still don't know why. But it wasn't. But you want it back. And no fear is taking it down here by the looks of it. I love this attitude. Uh, let's do the Three of Cups in the immediate future. Oop, 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 oop. Man. The Magician, the Five of Cups, the Ace of Cups. Yeah, you're manifesting that whole situation coming back around as it should. It wasn't as it should in the past. I have no idea what happened there. I'm not even going to stress about it. You probably know better than me what's up. But you're bringing in bigger energy and a little more um, pushy for the energies to, to come out. You know, the energies that are available in that dynamic. For right now, you're showing me a sense of, oh man, let me keep myself busy. Let me not think about it. This is gone. This is over. This is, and there's a, there's a flip in energies where the energies are kind of coming back and you're starting to feel something tied up to that again. And you're like, oh, okay. Well, let's switch gears, you know, kind of a thing. Which, um, I don't know, looks a little better in the intention than the past. That's for sure. Let me see what the universe has to close it off. The Justice card, the Hierophant, the Seven of Pentacles. Energetically speaking, this situation right here is kind of going up. It's building up. This is something you're doing or they're doing or the both of you are doing is right. Because um, I see, I do see this really strong bond and it's just building up kind of a thing. Uh, physically, I have no idea what's going on. I feel like... Anyways, that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time.